Hi and welcome to another video on Jay's workshop. Today I oh, will be showing you guys how to fit a dump valve, a forged dump valve kit to a 1.2 Volkswagen Golf TSI Mark 7. It's, it applies the same to a 1.4 TSI as well, so yeah, fairly straightforward to be honest, but um, usually you have to remove the factory air box, but obviously I've got an MSD aftermarket induction kit. So if you want to know how to remove the factory air box, please watch my other video when I installed this so then you'll have a rough idea how to remove the original filter. With this one, I might get away with it because I just need access to this sensor here. So hopefully I'll be able to remove it without taking any of this off. So first of all, what I'm going to do is take off this sensor here. How these work is you just have to push away. It's like so, you push down on this one and up on this one and they will simply just pull away but obviously I can't do it with one hand so just give me a second okay so that literally took one second here it is just leave it to the side so literally this thing pulls up this one pulls down now we're gonna take off this connector here there's one up there and there is one at the bottom here as well which once again I can't do it with one hand so just give me a minute Actually, while I'm at that, I'll be removing this one as well. So you can see there's one pull-out tag here, one here as well. Oh yeah, and this pipe in here, you just literally unclip it off there. Okay, so I've literally just unclipped the housing here and these two here. And there's another pipe, this one here that was just connected to that clip in here. And the whole thing just pulls away. So make sure to keep this safe. So we're going to be using those rubber O-rings. As you can see, both of those are exactly the same in shape and size. Now what I'm going to do is remove this clip. Once again, spread them apart and pop it up. Okay, so I'll actually get this off. Just going to leave it here. I might have to take this off, I'm not sure. I'm going to put a little spacer in here, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is basically where you get in the box, you get the actual silicone intake holes. You get another hose here, you get a couple of clips, you get two housings and you get the actual blow-off valve. And here's the spacer that I'm talking about that we're going to be using over here to tap a line for the dump valve. So as I was saying before, we need to remove this rubber gasket in here. because we're going to be reusing it. Let's give it a wipe down. Do you know what? Just give me a sec, I'm going to clean this up properly. So I've given this a little clean up. Now what we're going to do is get this coupling here. And as you can see, this side has no line in there. This side does. So I'm going to basically place this in that line. like so as you can see the perfect fit so now what we're gonna do with this you can see there's two um, I don't know what you call this but it's like two bits where the clips can go on these two clips so you want this bit facing towards the front of the car because that center is gonna pop into there so I'll show you now anyway so basically as you can see there's a groove there there's a groove there I'm literally gonna pop it in straight I'm gonna have to use two hands because it's a bit tight. Okay, so I've managed to clip it in, it just needed a bit of force. And as you can see, it's clipped in perfectly, those two bits here. Now this bit, this sensor, it's just gonna clip in here as well. Like so. Just like that. Now, there is some screws which you may use i'm not sure if we need to but if i do need to i'll let you know so now what we're going to move to is just trying to temporarily line this up yeah that's gonna go right okay let's go to the next thing okay so 
because there's no instructions it's a bit confusing but what i've worked out is we have to put this on now into the smaller side of this hose obviously it won't be on this side because that's the bigger part that's going to go on the front and that's where the dump valve is going to go into so yeah we have to put this in but you have to use the medium size circuit here i'm just going to push up there and then i'm going to push this in once again i need to use two hands just give me a second okay so what i've done i've put that housing on and i've tightened it up you have to leave that little gap there as you can see because it clips into there and i've just semi tightened this uh, clip up over here but not fully because we're gonna just leave it on today so uh i'll just move this out of the way so yeah let's give it a go this should no yeah yeah do my hold now so, uh, this should just clip over like that you heard the click there you go that's popped in this one as well I'm just gonna sleeve it over there you go it's gonna be... there you go yeah. it's sitting in there nice and snug so what i'm gonna do is yeah i definitely have to loosen this one it's not even going down that's why it didn't go in i thought it'd be a good idea to pre-tighten it but tighten it a bit yeah more. So I'll leave it about there and now I'll tighten it up. So anyway, I won't bore you guys. I'm just going to tighten this up. There's no need to do it. So I've tightened this circuit up now. The hose is sitting in there nice and steady. Next, what we're going to do, I've opened this up already and I've checked there's a spring already inside, but it comes with a spare one. I don't know if that's got more compression to it or not, but I'm just going with the one that's in there. Um, so yeah, what we have to do is pop this on first, and then just push this through. Doesn't really matter how you put it in. I like my writing facing up. Now I'm just gonna tighten this one down as well. It's just gonna go over there. So I've tightened this in. Now, I'm just going to put this in here. There's a little gasket that comes with it as well. So you just, I guess, push that in like so. And this is what we're going to tap the feed off for the dump off. So look at this carefully as well. There's a flat line that has to go on the bottom left like so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use two hands again. So it'll pop in properly once you push it in, you hear it click. This one will now go on the top. Um, I might have to adjust this one second. I'll not get away with it. Okay, so I managed to get it all in without any fiddling. It does come with a razor bracket, which goes in here. Show you. This thing here. So you take it out. It has three Allen key holes on the side. So what you do, you pop it on top of the original grommet, uh, under the grommet here, and then it raises the factory airbox. Otherwise, you'll never be able to get this in. But obviously, I've gotten away with it because I've got an aftermarket intake. So what I'm going to do now is put the two screws supplied in there so here's the screws so the two longer ones will go on the one which i just tapped in and these two smaller ones will go in there so i'm just going to tighten up the screws now okay so just an update i've put the two um phillips screws in there don't need to tighten them up too much just enough to keep it secure that's perfect same on this side i've only put one allen key bottom one you don't need to do it and it's going to be very hard access to be honest but it's nice and tight so last but not least is just this wire sorry this holes that we have to put simply one end goes into there and the other end goes into there 
but I'm gonna cut it because it's too long. So I'm just gonna cut it down to size. Okay, so I put the wire, I mean, sorry, the holes in there. Just fed it around here. Done a small cable tie just to this holes here and pour it around and just pushed into there. So it's all fitted and everything's tight. I'm happy with the fit. I'm just gonna start it up now and hear what it sounds like. So. Do you want to give it some gas, sir? I'm just check to see. That's fine, now, in fact. So obviously it'll work better on the load, but these cars are limited to 4,000 revs and they put idle in. So yeah, no, it definitely works and it goes well with the induction kit as well, so I'm happy with that. I uh, hope you guys like the video. Please like, subscribe and share. And keep watching this channel to see more content on this car. Thanks.